In college, Lonzo Ball shot a respectable 41% from the three-point line. But how will his unique jumper hold up at the next level? Find out. We brought him into the ESPN Sports Science Lab and wired him up with a state-of-the-art motion capture suit. Now compared to a more traditional form, like Steph Curry's, in Lonzo's shooting motion, the ball has to travel about 20% farther to get to its release point. And because he brings it up from his left side, before he starts to flick his wrist, his right forearm sits about 50 degrees from the ideal vertical position. But just 12 hundredths of a second before he lets go, Lonzo rotates his right hand directly behind the ball's vertical equator. This normalizes his shot's trajectory, and it allows him to impart almost the optimal amount of backspin on the ball. Now at times, when his shot is rushed, he can't fully rotate his hand. And because launch velocity accounts for the majority of shooting errors, this sideways release can increase his chances of missing left or right. But what should keep Lonzo's shot effective in the NBA is that his quick release usually gives him enough time to finish this last second adjustment. In fact, even with these unorthodox mechanics, he's able to consistently get his shot off about 13% quicker than the NBA average. That's only two hundredths of a second behind the release of Golden State's Clay Thompson.